Hi, welcome to Wise Guns. Concentration of a solution, volume percent two. In volume percent one, we already have the definition of concentration expressed as volume percent, which is volume of solute divided by volume of solution, both volume, and we need same unit because if volume you use solute you use milliliter, solution has to be milliliter because this kind of concentration is the solute is liquid. So milliliter over milliliter or liters over liters. The other one we need to pay attention to liquid volumes of different substances are generally not additive because this is the I got one email from my box they asked for why actually you know the distance between molecules in liquid situation is as far as more than the solid that's why they have space between molecules they have space so that's why two substances mixed together, this actually ha happen. The volume gets smaller. So for volume percent, we can say, for example, wine is about 16.5 percent. And that means there are 16.5 milliliter ethanol for every 100 milliliter of wine. So let's look at the question. Question one, how much 72% volume percent SO alcohol is needed to prepare 1200 milliliter of 35% solution? From 72%, this is a, we have this kind of solution. But we want to make a 1200 milliliter solution with concentration is 35 percent. To make lower concentration, so we need to add water into high concentration solution, right? But how much high concentration SO alcohol needed? So we need looking for how much, how many milliliters you need. We need 1200 with 35, so we can find the milliliter of salute. So how many salute there is? So first we need start from 35 percent. 35 percent means 35 milliliter. This is an acid alcohol in 100 milliliter solution. Now. Total, we have 1,200 milliliters, and how many milliliters of salute? In 100 milliliters, we have 35 milliliters. So in 1,200 milliliters, how many milliliters salute? So with cross multiplication, so we got x1 equals top is 35 multiply 1200 the bottom is divided 100 so we can cancel the zeros zeros 35 multiply 12 we got the 420 milliliters that means in 1200 milliliter solution we need 420 milliliter solute so this is what we need but where this come from from 72 percent. That's why we write start from this one again. 72 percent means 72 milliliters over 100 milliliters of solution. This is solute. This is solution. Now, this is 420 is solute. That's why we need to put the top. 420 milliliter of solute. How much solution? follow this ratio. So cross multiplication, cross multiplication, so 
the top is 100 multiplied 420, the bottom is 72. In this case, after multiply, we got 583 milliliters. So that means we need a 583 milliliter this solution. What kind of solution is 72 percent solution? Right? So that's why this is the answer. So 583 milliliters of 72 percent acyl alcohol is needed. Are needed to prepare 1,200 milliliter of 35 percent of solution. This is a question word. And I go to question two. How much water should be added to 800 milliliter of 85 percent certain solution to make a 40 percent solution? So for this question, we can uh, make a picture. Let's say you have content, right? This one. You have 800, let's say this is an 800 milliliter and the concentration, this is the 85 percent. Then we need to make 40 percent and you make 40 percent. So this is the original, this, this is 800 but this is 85, now it's only 40, this is only 40 percent. So obviously we need to add water, right? We add the water. So how many water? And it becomes to 40 percent. How many water? We don't know. How many water? We don't know. But you add the water, the total volume of solution increase. But the solute doesn't change, right? The solute is 85 percent, 800 in this one. The solute doesn't change. You don't add any solute. You just add water. So the solute doesn't change. So let's find what is the solute. In this part, using these two information, find what is solute. So we write 85 percent, start from 85 percent. We had 85 milliliter solute in 100 milliliter of solution. This is the definition of 85 percent volume volume. And now we have how many solution? 800. So you have how many solute there? So same thing cross multiplication. We got x1 equals these two multiply together, 85 multiply 800 and divided by 100. So obviously 0 cancel out and 85 multiply by 8. We can calculate this one. 85 multiply 8 equals 680. Or the 680 this is a milliliter is solute, right? It's a solute. So even you add water, but the inside still 680. This is still 680 milliliter of solute. So then we use this situation. Now we need 40 percent, only 40 percent. That means same volume of solute, but more solution means more water. So start from this, nu this number, we write the 40 milliliter in 100 milliliter. Now we have 680 milliliter of solute, right? So how many solution total? 
So solve this one. We've got x2 equals cross multiplication is 680 multiply 100 divided 40. We still cancel one zero. So we get answer is 680 multiply 10 and divide the 4. Actually, you can see 680 multiply 10, 6,800 divided by 4, you call 1,700. In this situation, that means the solution is 1,700. So after add the water, at this moment, the total is 1700 milliliters. There are 680 milliliters of solute. In 1700 solution, the make concentration is 40 percent. So originally we have 800 milliliters solution. Now have 1700. How many liters milliliter of water? Just using this one in seventeen hundred milliliter subtract eight hundred milliliter we got nine hundred milliliter but as I said liquid the volume is not additive and but this is to give us idea that means is the water should be greater 900 milliliters. Right? In experiment, you put 800 milliliters with 85% solution and add water until you look at the 1700. This must be as greater, a little bit greater than 900 milliliters of water, but the final volume is 1700. So this is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.